Hey, what up? Um, today I'm going to make a tutorial on how to chroma key an iPad and then uh, track it, uh, like track the green screen, the iPad, to have like, a, like if you want like a different like um, appearance to it or you want to add like a photo or a video. So like you want that, uh, you want to key out that green screen. And then just put whatever you can put yourself in it, just whatever. So today, that's what I'm gonna do. Um, Daniel, something I can't remember his last name, but Daniel requested this. Um, so thank you, and this is for you, and to others, and everybody. So enjoy. Um, I'm gonna use um, After Effects for this, and After Effects and Mocha. So let's get started. Um, as I said, we're gonna use Mocha Pro, Mocha, I mean Mocha, but I have the Mocha Pro, the Pro version, so whichever version, I guess, will work, as long as it's Mocha. Today, I'm gonna show with Mocha today, I mean, because of the tracking and stuff, the tracking points that I have and stuff. Anyways, um, so, uh, make a new file, browse, browse for files, uh, make sure, uh, that you, that your settings match, as far as the, well, not... To this point really but you know the settings for this will match like your after effects footage or premiere after effects after effects footage you know as far as the frame rate and uh, the resolution 720 1080 make sure you have that down um, um, uh, make sure you have them like matched up you know like, like correct like the same okay anyways uh, you see those four black um, circles and I'm highlighting that to what they're for now. Um, anyways, uh, um, go around that black circle with that tool. Um, explain, explain tool. Explain tool. Yes. Uh, those four dots are just tracking points, just for a cleaner track, and uh, you know, just to make it better. Uh, anyways, uh, here I'm doing it. Make sure you have it nice and uh, as close as you can get to the black. All for accuracy. Next, um, grab the explant layer tool, which is that one, so that you'll have the 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 tracking on the same. Uh, you'll have it on the same on the same layer. <clears throat> So, do that, and now, um, for the screen, for the, uh, the edge of the screen, I guess, uh, grab that same tool, x blind layer, and go around the, the edge, the trim, uh, the trim, the edge, I don't know, and you're, you're seeing it right now, so, and make it, um, uh, as, uh, make the edge sharp, as possible um, so that nice rectangle and then um, the outer uh, the outer bezel or bezel or yeah that white surrounding it thing so that yeah just it's all just um, for a cleaner track you know we're just uh, we're just trying to get um, as many points as we can, or as many references as we can for a cleaner track. So, anyways, it's tracking right now, and as you see, as you see right now, um, it went off a little bit, so I'm kind of correcting it. Now it's back on auto, but if you run into a little problem, uh, feel free to hit space and pause, stop it, and um, uh, correct uh, the the points. I guess correct it. Yeah. Um, what else? Yeah, it, it really is kind of hard to track an iPad, especially if you're moving a lot. But like, like right here, I tried to move as much as I could, I guess. As much as I could. Just to show you guys that uh, the tracking really works. But like in this case, I don't know. Um, it wasn't as clean. 
it just wasn't as clean and uh, I mean that's not a problem because like uh, I don't know like if you're gonna use an iPad in your commercial or in your in your movie for a movie whatever um, you're not gonna be jerky so uh, so this is good for uh, that kind of stuff commercial stuff this is not good for amateurs videos and uh, you know what I mean yeah anyways yeah um now I'm done so I'm exporting it to uh, uh, what is it um, yeah I'm exporting it to uh, uh, I can't remember what it is I'm doing the voiceover like a week after I am record I recorded this so um, you export it to uh, pinpoints no but anyways and then copy that to clipboard um, And then make a new comp and then import your footage. Make sure it matches the one that you just tracked. Yeah, because sometimes you ha you have to convert it to you have to convert, it. especially if you have an AVCHD footage, AVCHD footage, then you're gonna have to convert it because Mocha does not recognize an MTS file. Right now I'm grabbing an image just for uh, you know basic tracking. I'm trying to find an image. Okay, there's my image. Uh, it's just uh, a Windows uh, default image. Um, I applied it to it like uh, I can't. It wouldn't work. So what I'm doing right now is I'm gonna get uh, layer and then make new uh, null layer, and then apply apply the mocha. Um, uh, the mocha effect, not the mocha effect, the uh, mocha data, the tracking data to the null, to the null object and link your picture to the null object or the picture or footage or the footage that you want to track you want tracked or whatever in this case the picture, the picture of that, um, what you call that I don't know, anyways as you can see right here it's pretty clean that's basically what tracking is this is just, this I'm showing you guys is just, uh, uh, pretty basic stuff, I guess. I'm just trying it out, seeing, um, how it came out. So, uh, what I'm doing right here is not how you should do it. You know, it's just scaling and, uh, all that stuff. What? Um, okay, so I'm grabbing the corner pen tool. Corner pen tool. That's the, uh, that's, uh, you should export the, um, the Mocha, uh, data to, to Adobe After Effects corner pin, or a cor just corner pin with motion blur. As you see, as you see right here, you could, uh, you could distort it, mess around with it, with the image. Now I'm putting it under the green screen, using the, key out the green screen using the key light effect. Um. Right now, I'm just trying to find the best, um, the best values for it, and this is actually the correct way of doing it. So, there you go. That's I think that's pretty good. That looks pretty good. Not yet. Okay. Let's wait. Hmm. Yeah, that's pretty good. Let's see. That's pretty good. No color loss, really. Well, except for it. Hmm. And now, um, I'm, um, I'm gonna remove the tracking points. And how I'm gonna do this is, uh, make four rectangles, and then mask out, um, and then make a mask to just have the, the round, uh, uh, just make a circle with the mask tool. Um. Or in this case, just for now, at least just for now, uh, I'm making them into a rectangle. Uh, I don't know if this is the correct way to do it, but this is how I did it that day. Or this is how I'm doing it today, and this is how I'm going to show you guys how I do it today. But um, I'm making a rectangle, then I'm going to track those. Or I can just link those to the null object that, uh, that has our uh, tracking data. And... Uh, 
it should it's supposed to be okay but if your if your tracking is not as accurate it's not gonna be any good so um, this is for really 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 clean tracking and not these not I do not recommend this for jerky shots especially like zoom in as I'm doing right now I'm doing this just for like uh, to show you guys because of like what uh, Mocha can do you know as far as uh, scaling and uh, position moving rotating so I, I try to be a little jerky I try to zoom in and out but I, I don't usually do that um, yeah so let's say if you did not have the black dots you wouldn't really matter it wouldn't matter you would just use the you just you can just get the screen and the uh, outer bezel bezel yes I don't know yeah that white frame thing if you know what I'm saying yeah, I'm still trying to figure it out I was gonna sum this up a little but I figured it would be better if you actually kind of see it you know I'm kind of spinning and speeding this up so uh, I think it's it would be a little bit better if you guys see how I uh, did it so <clears throat> oh, not too bad and see uh, you'd run into a little problem like that like the like the green as you just saw the color um, contrast color temperatures um, did it match well which wouldn't really matter but I'm just saying it wouldn't really matter so uh, you, you're you're gonna be better off uh, without the four black dots. And uh, if, you, if you ask me how I came up with that, I just went to Photoshop, um, made a uh, what is it? Made a file, new file, uh, with a resolution of uh, 1024 by 768, and just uh, painted green. And that's it. If you're gonna work with After Effects, though. Um, okay, let's get back to this. Okay, so I think I found it. I found it. So, got the tracking. So, here's my picture. I applied the tracking. It worked. Now, I need to. Oh, there. I'm gonna. Uh, I put it behind the other layer, my main layer. Since I uh, keep that out, keep the green screen out. Now, there it is. And since I said. This is not a very clean track because I zoomed in and out. I was kind of jerky. Um, you can see that the picture is moving a little bit, but still, I guess this is pretty, this is pretty good. But it's not the best. Let me tell you that it's not the best. It is not. So, yeah, if you're gonna, if you run into a problem like this, just make your. Uh, your image, your image, uh, that background image, the image that you're gonna put it in to the iPad, a little bit bigger, you know, as far as the scale. So, like, if you go off a little, um, you won't um, go off the frame, or you won't see that uh, a black framing or a black um, a black thing because it it moved, it shifted. Anyways, um. That's it for today, guys. I mean, yeah, that's it for today. That was pretty much all. Um, no. Um, okay, so that was it. Um, that's about it. As you can see right now, I'm in my car. I'm on my laptop. Uh, it's not. The video isn't that great. It's not great. It's not good at all. Let me just say that. Um, yeah, that was pretty much it. And uh, yeah. Um, if you have any questions, just any questions, or if you want me to uh, do uh, another tutorial, if you want to see something else, you know, uh, feel free to hit me up, drop a comment, um, message me, whatever. I'm out. <laughs>